let's take a moment to get a word from our Martin. <laughs> Another night in New York, you know, three people uh, bonding together and uh, not a cell phone in sight at all, you know what I'm saying? I think that's the greatest part of this generation is that, you know, we really don't need each other for uh, cell phones. We don't really need each other. <laughs> and apparently everyone thinks this is a joke, but it's really not. This is a good talking point right here. This is to show all the millennials that cell phones really do matter. It takes a toll on our lives. You really think kids go home hungry looking at their cell phone and they're saying, mom says, that's what's for dinner, some Fortnite and Snapchat. Kids these days, too addicted to their phones. They're just living in the moment, you know what I'm saying? I mean, look at this guy. This guy doesn't even care. You know, I, I cook and clean in this house, do their laundry, make the food every night, pick them up from school, and uh, you know, I don't get a single uh, word of thank you or any kind of appreciation in this household. Uh, you know, so this is just you know a day in the life. Um, obviously they don't really clean up after themselves either, as you can tell. But you know what, it's okay, because as a father of three, I try my hardest to give them the best life that I had. You know, I, I, I was a, an immigrant from Vietnam, and you know, I work hard every day, came to this nation with five dollars on my back, and uh, I've now afforded an apartment with these three dinguses. So, you know, that, that's the life that I live in. I pay a lot of money to live here. I am a waitress. Uh, I currently serve tables. I have to work three jobs to make ends meet. And sometimes I cry every night because I have to tell my kids, you know, we're having sleep for dinner because I can't afford to put food on the table. And they always laugh at me for saying that. But it's true. But sometimes I buy myself food and I don't share it with them at all.